there gamers, it's Professor Meg here and today we have another sponsored video. Today is a deluxification series and video is sponsored by Top Shelf Gamer and you can find a discount link down in the description below. So definitely check that out. They have fun bits for all different games and some that are just generic that you can use for all kinds of games like metal coins and things like that. So check them out if you'd like to save some money. But apart from that, I got to pick a bunch of things that I wanted to show off for the deluxification series. Now, this is a sponsored video, but it is a little bit different from the sponsored videos I usually do. Today I get to just talk and say whatever I want and show you whatever I want and do almost whatever I want. Uh, and I was, I, I'm not even like that familiar with Alex's version of these videos. I've seen maybe a couple. Um, so this is just off the rails from the get-go. I'm just going to talk about these things and I think that's what this is supposed to be. But we have deluxe things showing not showing there's so much deluxe around we are just going to jump right into it so one of the first things we are going to jump into should we start with this i mean i touched it so i feel like we should start with this but then we'll we'll take a break before wingspan um beast beast is a game that i absolutely adore i was able to play this during the prototype phase when they were uh, pre-crowdfunding and then during crowdfunding and then post crowdfunding um and now there is a deluxe version here in front of us so Everything here is the upgraded bits that you can get of the base game. There's even these artworks in here that I saved because I love these kinds of things. Honestly, I'm going to put these off to the side now so I can put those up. <laughs> I forgot I had those. Um, but in here we have all of our deluxe bits where uh, underneath all of these, one of my favorite things about this version, let's see, I've uncovered almost everything, is the sleeves. Um, so these are the sleeves for it, but the sleeves actually have a, uh, a design on them, so they are clear sleeves. Um, oh my gosh, that's so hard to show you. Uh, <laughs> Um, they are clear sleeves, but they do have this beautiful design on them, so it's added to the artwork of the card, and I think this is one of the first times I've really seen this done where it's a clear sleeve, um, and it's kind of sneakily done where they added in an extra bit of artwork to make the cards even more special, um, because you might not even notice that it's the sleeve doing this when you play with it if you, if you, it's not your copy, um, so it really was a way to make the cards even more special without hiding the artwork that is on the cards, so I just thought that was really well done, um, and that is throughout all of these cards, and then for the smaller cards, they even have a different artwork where they have this, um, the just a smaller border for them around it but they have all of the different sleeves which i really appreciate and then apart from that the wooden tokens uh i really love what they did just with the art design of this but these are i believe they're boars um they're not i think they're either bears or boars but i think that they're boars uh but you can see that they kind of have this design on top of them where it's painted onto the sides of them uh, I'll also grab out some of the sheep as well, but I just love not only that it's like a wooden meeple and it has the design on it to make it seem real, but they used just this beautiful art direction to just, oh, make such a nice deluxe copy. Um, there are also the, whoop, little sheep almost got lost. There are also the deluxe bags and we have some metal coins in here, which is, oh, one of my favorite things. Um, these aren't actually coins for the game, they're used to track things. I mean, either way, it's currency that you're using to track a thing, and isn't that just what money is? But there are coins that are for the game, and overall, I think that for some games, deluxe versions can add certain things, and for me, it's always a question of if it's worth it or if it's not worth it. And for Beast, uh, I just think it's so nice. They have no idea I'm talking about them right now or doing this. Uh, so, you know, just to be fair, I, I just wanted to talk about Beast. Um, but yeah, I think that this deluxe version is one of the nicest that I've seen. Um, I, I'm not showing off too many of the cardboard bits because I'm not positive, but I think it's like this in both versions. I may be wrong and they may not be dual layered um, where you can drop in the different little pips in here, but I think they all are. Um, that I'm not positive about. Feel free to leave in the comments below because I'm not sure what the regular version actually entails. Um, but that is Beast, the deluxe version. Okay, so that's been Beast. We're going to hold off on one spin. Now we have a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, we went left. Let's go right. Um, no, let's go left. 
<laughs> there's too many things um so next up we have awaken realms vault story dice um so these are different story dice this is the bundle box so it's all of them together i believe it's all of them together um but it's the awaken realms board game box where it has all of these different dice sets that are relative to their different games so we have iss vanguard etherfields tainted grail nemesis and nemesis um because they have an intruder expansion and a cat expansion guess which one I'm going to show you first because it's going to be the cat expansion. So they come in these little boxes within their sleeves um, and you get to open them up Whoa! and they have different cards uh, and then dice. I'm not sure exactly. I know that they're meant for RPG play to be added to games with elements I think inspired from their board games but apart from that I'm not sure exactly what these are but these are some kitty cat dice. So yes I'm getting distracted by cats but here are our cat dice. Um, and I'm gonna open a few others just to show them off. I, should I open them all? I think I could. I think I'm gonna open them all and not close them all and let chaos reign because that's really my vibe. Um, I would prefer to not have to put all of these away while filming, but would I open them all while filming? Absolutely. Intruder noise. <laughs> these ones are just intruders, so they, I believe, are just gonna be aliens. They're just so alien, I'm like, I think that's their face. I'm pretty sure that that's their faces, but I'm not positive. So these have been the two Nemesis sets. Ooh, I don't want to close the box. Oh my gosh, we're going to do this the most chaotic way possible. Um, oh my gosh, I just don't want to get things too separated, and I'm sure I can figure it out. The two Nemesis, I'm like worried, but like, how could you mess up Cat and not Cat? Uh, and then we have Tainted Grail. Uh, which is their, s ooh, this one is a grill, this one's very nice, and this one is more of like a stone structure, um, this one again, I'm not sure which part is the front it is, but you can easily tell which one is the, I'm afraid to roll these though, okay, 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 they feel like they can actually take a beating. I was a little worried about rolling these um, because they do feel like kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say soft, but they feel so detailed that I was worried to do that. They feel like a miniature, um, but not as light as a miniature, I guess. Uh, this is the Etherfields box, um, but yeah, I was afraid to roll those a little bit. Ooh. These ones have faces on them. I'm sorry, my camera's kind of dark for the way it's facing. We'll see if this works. I'm really sorry that up close shots aren't the best. But wow, look at those faces. That's crazy. I think that worked better showing it up to you up close. So the other sides are like, oh my gosh. Some of the other sides are swirls, but some of the other sides are faces. Oh my gosh. I'll show it to you one more time. This one is all faces, so this one's kind of not as crazy. So look at the top die. That's the one that changed the most. Um, but it's so cute. Cute. Alright, so the last one left is ISS Vanguard, and we couldn't put ISS Vanguard in a corner. We have to open it, so I guess let's see what's inside. Whoa, I opened it, and it the whole, the card came off right away. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, it's a D10. These are really crazy because they're like almost circular D10s. Um, they look like little balls. That's pretty crazy. Um, but apparently they're D10s. I got a two and an arrow, which I'm sure the cards would tell me what that meant. But then I got a four. I think this one's all symbols. Yeah. So I, I can't ever get a thing. But this one also, because of how many things are on it, these are the only ones without like a one specific detailed space. All of the others kind of have like a face or a thing going on. These ones don't really, but they're very, very interesting. So that is ISS Vanguard, and that is the Awakened Realms dice set. I didn't think about this, but we're just gonna chaotically. I'm just gonna look back later about how to fix that. We're just gonna not think about it. Okay, so we went to the right, now we're gonna go to the left. To the left! May I just say, um, these two button shy games are being held up by, <laughs> so I have two minis that are on bases, so they're like a little bit heavier, um, and one of them is Iron Man and one of them is the Hulk, 
and the Iron Man one is doing nothing. <laughs> I thought they were both helping hold it up. Help, helping, oh my gosh. I thought they were both helping hold it up, but Iron Man is not doing anything. It is all the Hulk. Let me see if I can show you guys. Can you see the Hulk just holding up the button shines? So to show you what the button shines are about, it's not just button shies, you guys. It's not just button shies. I got a button shy bag and I wanted to show you. So this is the little button shy travel bag. Shout out to Jamie from Foster the Meeple. I love you and I saw her have this and then I was like, oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love little solo pocket games and I love this little bag. Um, so this is from the button shy store in New Jersey. Um, and I will show you guys. It's like this nice, really cute little bag. There's a pocket in the front. Um, and then you have zips that go down the sides. And then a little Velcro guy here, so you unvelcro it. And then there's all of your button shies. Um, and you can pull out like any of your games to share with your friends. You could travel around, road trip ready, airplane ready. You got all your button shies. Um, so they do, this bag unfortunately is not exactly for sale. It's something that they sell a lot during their Kickstarters when they run those. They are currently running a Kickstarter right now, but this is not part of it, sadly. So keep your eye out if you do like this bag. Um, I absolutely love it and I'm so happy I was able to get it, but uh, you'll have to keep your eyes out or work up, go by their store. Um, they do have a store in New Jersey where you're able to check out everything that they have and they have a few of these guys left, so you're able to grab them for yourself. Now, moving onward, Onward and upward. Oh gosh, we have something. I don't know. It's dragons or dragons. That's the question. Now I'm confused what to do. I guess we'll move on to Wormspan and you'll see the other dragons later. So, Wormspan. Within Wormspan, I have to say, oh my god, thank you to Tinkertown Games. Thank you for everything you've ever considered making it ever for any board game because there's quite a few things that I love from them and this is only one of them. So, they did uh, these extra bits, these metal bits, for Wormspan. Um, and they are upgraded metal tokens. Um, oh, oh, I love a metal token. So here are the meat that you play with. Um, you can just hear like how satisfying and metal they are and they are absolutely beautiful, these little meats. Uh, and then we have uh, the gems. Now I'm very impressed that these are double sided as well. I wasn't sure until they came if they would be double sided and they are. So you can see um, no matter what, that's why no matter what you see gems because they are double sided. Um, and these are, oh, they're just so nice. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, and then one of the cutest things is that for little baby wormlings, what do little baby wormlings need? They need their little milks. So I also just love that in Wormspan, the different things that the dragons need, and one of them is milk. So there's the little metal milks for the little dragons. And then, what is a final thing that a dragon would want but gold? Um, so we have the gold bits here. Whoop. Now, I do kind of wish these that were a little bit more stylized to match the others, um, because these are like gold bricks, whereas these are like flat uh, tokens. So I kind of almost wish that these were like a weird flat gold token, but I think maybe other people wouldn't like that, so, you know, who knows? But uh, yeah, that's my only thing, but oh my gosh, these are so satisfying and nice to touch and beautifully made. Um, and there will be something else coming up by them in the future of the video, but first, well, should I go there now? Let's go there now. Um, first, I'm gonna just pick these up. Sorry for any uh, little bit sounds that you get. Ah, I dropped one, but I got it. I caught it in my ninja moves. Um, yeah, I absolutely love these. I love the way they feel. Uh, there are other games coming up that I'm not allowed to show you guys apparently because they're going to be in other deluxe videos, but keep your eyes out for any kind of deluxe bits you see in the future because I love everything they do. They can't do wrong in my eyes. Not yet. Okay, so, ah, Hulk, no! I guess his job is also done here. These were only here to show you that I was doing button shy games, um, which maybe we can, yeah, they, ah! Gosh, not as strong as the Hulk. Okay, so 
Speaking of Tinkertown games, we're going to move over to Final Girl. Now, for some of you, you might know that I play Final Girl on Fridays, sometimes on my YouTube channel. And when I do it, I name the different people that are watching the different victims. I actually use little tokens, little discs, and a dry erase marker, and I put them in the different map. So, I now have, instead of my old plastic tokens, these beautiful metal discs that I'm going to be able to use for my victims in the different Final Girl Fridays. Um, so usually what I would do, let's say for example Alex was here, I would write Alex and then he would be put in the gingerbread house and that's how I would do it as opposed to putting the different meeples in the different areas. Now let's say someone like Devin was here. Devin could be over in the Dell and his token would be there. So you can see that I now have these really nice, uh, wah, that was probably very loud, these really nice uh, metal tokens that are double sided, they're dry erase, and I'm so excited to be using these wah, for Final Girl Friday because I really like naming the victims. My favorite thing to do in the game is to save the victims, so to be able to name them and then have it be an incentive to make sure I save my friends is very important to me. Um, so those are my Final Girl bits for this. Now, I think I should show you this and then that and then end with oh, there's so many things. Okay, you guys, this is something that I got for myself. Um, it is from Enhanced Gaming. I saw them. Oh, it's heavy. I saw them at Gen Con. Um, and I just wanted to show, I truly just wanted to show this off to you. I, they don't even know I bought this. They don't know who I am. They don't know I'm talking about this. Um, so this is my backpack. This is my board gaming backpack, and I just wanted to show you guys because I absolutely love it. So you may now ooh and ah at all of my pockets, at all of my things, uh, and my little scarf here. You can see my water bottle area, but uh, I will show you guys. So obviously, whoop, that's the water bottle side, but on this side, I have a little pocket here, which I don't really use for too much right now, but I have a pocket here. Um, and inside this little wampa guide, I actually have my, oh, sorry, I'm trying to do everything backwards. I have batteries and SD cards. Um, so this is what I use when I'm traveling around. And then inside of here, if we open up this pocket, is my camera. So that's the vlog camera, yay. Um, but this is showing you how many pockets this backpack has, and it makes me so happy. Um, so now if we go along to this side... <laughs> There's also a pocket here. I usually put chargers in here, but there's nothing in there right now. But just, ow, kind of hurt myself. The axe is sharp. Uh, just to show you how many things I can put in here. Uh, my camera fell out from how I did that. Uh, this is how I set up my backpack. So there's all these different things that you can configure however you want. You can literally rearrange them to be anything you want want. Uh, it's very similar to something like a camera backpack or something like that, but uh, right now I have a lot of solo games in here. I have my business cards. These are a lot of button shy games. Um, these are group games. Um, this is, like I said, where my camera goes. There are pockets here. And then up here, because I'm a lady, is where my purse goes. And like my wallet is literally right here so that if I'm at a convention I can buy anything I want. <laughs> But my bag just like fits perfectly right in the top flap. So I really like this backpack. I'm just saying they have uh, DM bags. They have all kinds of different things. They have a bunch of different colors of this style backpack. Um, and they did have a sale during Gen Con. So I think that if you wait until a convention is going on, you can get like 25 to 30% off. Um, so there is that. But yeah, I really, really love this thing. It's awesome. Um, and it's great for flying because being able to get into that top pocket and have it all be separated from everything else below, it's just really convenient. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you is that if you do have a bigger stuff, um, there's also a pocket right here and this is where I have my tablet. So there is a bigger pocket. Um, I usually put rule books in here and you do have like a section for bigger things. Um, so if you don't travel with too many things that are bigger, uh, it's really great. I just really like it. You guys, I'm a girl that loves my backpack. Um, okay. We're gonna get into the last thing now, and I'm a little overwhelmed, and I'm very excited, and that's kind of why I rushed the whole start of this video. I'm sure you're thinking, what are you talking about? You haven't rushed anything, but I kind of have been. So, 
My friends at WizKids sent me this, so this was sent to me, and it's from WizKids. And they heard I like dragons, so they sent me some dragons. These are their pre-painted D&D minifigures. Uh, calling them minifigures is kind of a joke because they're really not miniature at all, but that's because dragons are huge compared to regular people. Um, but this is Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Um, this is like a very smoky dark dragon. It's Lord Soth and Greater Death Dragon. So I assume that someone's going to be in here with them. Um, yes, there is. It's a guy with a sword. Uh, please forgive my D&D &D knowledge that I don't know everybody. There's someone coming up that we do know that I'm so excited to show you. But uh, I don't know exactly who this guy is. But that's okay, right? Ugh, ugh. I should be showing you guys this side. Here, we'll move everything else away because nothing else matters now besides these dragons. But... There we go. Oh my gosh, it sounded like a dragon coming out. Okay. Okay. Oh, little baby. Please be safe. Be safe. I hope everything is fine with him. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on, I got a knife. I got the knife. We're gonna... That probably made everyone scared, the way I put that in with my fingers. But, you know, I knew what I was doing. You guys didn't know what I was planning, but I knew what I was planning all along. Okay. Dragon is... Oh. Okay, everything's fine. Everything is still potentially fine. These are... Seems like it's intentional pieces. It seems intentional. So let's see. This is Lord Soth. Um, I assume the torso goes on first. I'm going to sneeze, you guys, and I'm sorry. I don't understand how his torso goes. Oh, maybe that's how he... Oh, I understand. I understand everything now. So this is how he goes if he is on top of himself. <laughs> um, and I believe this is how to have him mount the dragon. So let's have him mount the dragon instead. That's obviously way better. I really don't... Uh, you know. He's, he's not the spectacle here. Alright. I don't know, Lord Soth. I don't know if you were meant to have your torso back. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's see if there's a clear insertion point. It doesn't seem like it. Does this come off? No. So let's put the wings on and see if we can figure that out. We're doing it live, you guys. There are no cuts here. We're just gonna hang out and talk about life. So while I put this dragon together, um, how are you guys doing? Speaking of dragons and dragon things and Wormspan, I enjoy Wormspan. I wouldn't say I love it, but I enjoy it. I have a lot of fun with it. It's a puzzle that I'm happy to uh, go back to, but I think that there are a lot of games that are puzzles that I'm happy to go back to that I'm not crazy about the game. So that is, you know, interesting. I think that I do, I'm one of those people that loves repetition, so I'll do the same thing over and over. I think it's why I love going through campaign games and, and having the same thing, you know, the same rule set that you don't have to learn new rules. Uh, sorry, I'm like really focusing on not hurting this guy. Can this be the wrong side? No, there's no way. My son. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing this wrong, you guys. I feel like a bad mom right now. And I feel the need to keep you guys entertained while I'm trying to save this poor young dragon and put his wings on. But he's coming first, just so you know. This situation is coming first. Um, and I, I want to see him better. I might, this might not be a thing I need help with. I feel like his wings are supposed to go so much further in than I'm pushing, but I can only push so hard without like pliers. I'm not a strong human. I can't. And I still have no idea where he hops on. That's not clear to me at this moment. Uh, but I, I am getting a sense that he is getting back together again. He is really cool. Like, I love the way his, he, he has, like, glow through his wings. I'm sure they're supposed to look like, like, smoke and shadow. And they really do. Um, I just wish, 
Damn, he didn't. I wish he wanted to be alive. Okay, okay. He is beautiful. This glowing, I can't wait to put this up somewhere and show him off with like lights behind him. Um, but he was definitely tough to put together. I'm not sure exactly where this Lord guy goes because I can tell that there's like a little section. I say nothing came with him, right? No. I can tell that there's a little section where it looks like he's supposed to jump on and it looks like it goes in this necklace piece, but I, oh, it just came off. I got it. Ha <laughs> ha. I just, it just, okay. All right. Well, there you go. Now you have a rider. That's pretty cool. He's nice. He is pretty nice, you guys. All right, so we'll put this over here. And oop, we're going to put the extra bits over here. And then we're going to go on to the next dragon, which is going to be our adult lunar dragon. This is a moon dragon. Uh, here we go with the knife again. My fresh knife skills. Sorry for the ASMR that's about to happen. Come here, baby. But here we are. Oh yes, oh yes. We gotta untape. Untape. Also known as cutting. Untaping it. Uh, this guy's just all together. He's got his stuff together. He's here, he's ready to show for work day one. Oh, that's an intimidating boy. Imagine fighting him. I would just serve him, wouldn't you? Wow, look at all the bones. He's like a, a dinosaur bone dragon guy. He also has holes in his wings. That makes me very sad for him. Like, sure that's just scars, but like it is, just kind of sad for him. Maybe that means he's very old. Maybe it's just like instead of it being um, scratches that he got, it's like little tears from old age. Or maybe maybe it will make it even nicer and it's little piercings that he had when he was a young little baby boy dragon. This is the adult little dragon. <laughs> uh, so far, I, I think that he's a bit more sturdy. Um, he's very, very strong, really well made. This one is absolutely beautiful, but it was a bit tricky to put together. Um, but absolutely beautiful. The way the wings are see-through, like, I still cannot get over it. Um, but that being said, we got a bigger dragon. We got an even bigger dragon. We have an adult brass dragon. Even bigger. I'm sure this one will be bigger than my face. I mean, they already are, but this one's going to be absolutely crazy. Okay, okay. Oh, gently, gently, big. Gently. There's too much dragons going on. Um, so this is our brass dragon. Oh, he just jumps right out. Again, it's like I got them from the... I adopted them. And as soon as they got home, they jumped out of their carriers. He just jumped straight out. <gasps> wow! Did you know dragons were like this? Did you know dragons could be like this? He just has wings all the way down. His wings... Wow. It just goes all the way. Like... <sighs> My child, my baby. Um, did you know dragons could be like this? It's like he's like a mermaid dragon. It's like it's a giant fish scale tail that goes uninterrupted all the way down. It must be really intense when they flap them. I wonder if they flap them like the wave, like in a stadium. Oh, I really like this guy. They're making me emotional. I really, really like him. He's very cool. Okay, last, and everyone will agree, certainly not least. This is a little spoiler. Um, I'm just making sure, but this is definitely the last thing I'm showing you. This is the one's the only Ukatoa. So we have Ukatoa here, and I'm so excited to show you because this is a critical role miniature. Uh, this is from when they were the Mighty Nine fighting off against Ukatoa. Sea dragon, but 
uh, something that is so cool about this one that I absolutely love is that it is split into multiple pieces and it goes down into the table. Sorry for all the sounds, I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry that was so loud. Um, but so you can see that there are multiple pieces of Ukatoa that will go onto the table. That would be ridiculous. Um, but now I will show you from this direction and you can see, oh my God. it's so beautiful. <laughs> I saw, oh my God, it's so nice. Okay, so I think it would go more this way. Like look at Ukatoa. When I die, I put this on my tombstone so that Ukatoa is sticking out because honestly, that's all I want in life. Look at how beautiful this is. The coloring is intensely insane. Um, it reminds me almost of like Haku, the way it's colored, um, but it's just absolutely beautiful. Um, and if you want to see his mighty, mighty face, oh my gosh, look at this guy! Wouldn't you run? Wouldn't you run? And would you try to kiss him? <laughs> I love Ukadawa. Um, Alright, you guys. This has been a deluxification series takeover by Professor Meg. As a reminder, this is sponsored by Top Shelf Gamer. You can find a discount link down below. There will be links for all of the things that you are able to acquire. Some of them, unfortunately, you won't be able to. I think the only thing actually is the button shy backpack or a little bag. Uh, right now and then just like small stuff like the patches on my backpack which I know you're jealous of um, but that has been all thank you all for watching the board game code channel I've been professor Meg and I will see you all next time bye